Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now the dragon event that I was talking about last time and we were having a look at was having some issues. Uh, I don't know if it's working or not working. We're just going to keep trying it until it works. So that, or until the dragon is tamed. So that's something we can do. I also want to kill this lady. Now the reason I want to kill her is because Ronald is married to our sister. And we would very much like Ronald to be in charge. And Ronald is currently the heir. So, um, we are going to spy on her. She has come of age. Perfect. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Let's just keep trying to face the dragon. Yes, I'll face Zareel. And pretty much the rest of it is just kind of waiting. We do have some du jour claims that we could press on, like the trident. It's all right. We don't really need to, but we could. Um, it's not something that we really need to uh, put forward until we have the dragon that we're after, but that's all fine. There's not really a lot of ways that we can get land very quickly either. Reclusive Beast, it seems. We always get two events there. That's really weird. Uh, also, do we have, like, ways that we can just declare on Westeros for all of this land in the Iron Isles? Oh, we could just do Invasion. The Ironborn f uh, of old forged a great kingdom for rights of conquest. We shall pay the iron price and make glory anew. We can just declare invasions of everything? We just declare an invasion of Westeros? 46,000 men versus 1,000. Hmm, that doesn't seem like it's going to work, but that is useful to know. But we can't declare one on Lannisport. Lannisport is undeclarable. It's completely out of the question. But Westeros? Hmm, we could try. Iron King Josran, our, uh, some among your subjects being found to be pillaging the land under my uh, dominion. The Widow, uh, Pike Frost the Widowmaker. Married to a chief bump. I mean, I guess we'll pay the money. Yeah. Hmm. They're all so much stronger than us. Uh, this travels wing rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more. That uh, Liesa Magar now rides Vagar into battle. Okay, another dragon rider. That's fine, because we're about to get our dragon. Random event. Dragon. We'll find it. All right. No idea where he keeps his lair. No idea where he keeps his lair. Yep, they say the same things every time. Kind of weird. Okay, um, some uh, marriage packs have disappeared, which is all right. That's in the Lannister lands. Our courtier, Turan, has caught grayscale. Her skin is turning a molted black and gray and stone like to the touch. Oh, she'll probably die very soon. She was married to Lord Cull II of Ibnor. And Eric Gardner died of poor health. She, he was uh, married to uh, Storm Queen Rowan. Okay. Uh, there's more deaths happening. Uh, Volga died comatose in bed. Ah, so that leaves Volga all alone. My liege, my uh, mission to Lone Light has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Master Siegfried of Lonely Light, I have seemed to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Yes, the three-year-old sends his regards. Perfect. He likes this a little bit. That's fine. Uh, we can righteously imprison Wolfgar. Why? You're trying to buy Varen's loyalty. Eh, not that bothered by it. What I am bothered about is finding a dragon. We'll face a real. Uh, my snoops overheard Lady Janessa of Skago says she told shocking lies about her rightful liege. How shall I use this information? I'll keep that to myself. I don't need to use that right now. We're still trying to find the dragon. Life in the shadows is a risky affair. Eavesdroppers can be discovered, plots can backfire, vengeful victims can come after you dagger in hand. I'm not proud of what I do, but it's for the uh, greater good. Oh, we have moved from um, amorish, uh, amateurish plotter to uh, flamboyant schemer. Fantastic. That's a little bit of an upgrade. We're a little bit better at this. Um, the guards drag Maria Vritfin up from her cell and throw at your feet. I've come for justice, she says. By right, birth, and blood, I demand trial by combat. Lord Allard Wayne will be my champion. Allard Wayne being a uh, four skill. Hmm. Okay. You have that right. I'll select someone to stand. Do we want to stand for ourselves or do we want to select someone to stand for us? We're slothful. Someone else will stand for us. Who are we going to send? German Pike, our brother in law. Or uh, Fade Zarg Pike, who is also Fade Zargary, you could call him, who has dragon blood. I think we'll send our brother in law to fight. Definitely. 
Gurmund steps forward. I'll stand for you, your grace. Fight well, Gurmund. You watch with glee as Gurmund drives his sword relentlessly at Maria Vriprin's champion, beating them into submission. The drowned god have cast their judgement and the prisoner is guilty. Now I shall pass my judgement. She has been found guilty by the drowned god. What punishment shall she receive? Hmm. We can execute her. We can let her rot in the cell so she can stay here as my guest. If we execute her, it just goes to uh, her heir. We're not fine with that. Oh, we'll... Uh We'll uh, see and stay here as our guest, I think. That's what we're really going for anyway. Your Grace, I, my scheming in Harlow Hill has come to fruition. I've scored a plot where Grisilla seeks to kill Lady Alanis the Unfaithful. Um, well, that is interesting news. Yes. I think we're in prison, people are trying to kill other people. Oh, although I probably should have actually clicked on the person there, because apparently she's not on my righteous imprisonment list. Okay, we'll face a real. Uh, we can also go into hiding. Is someone trying to kill us? Hmm. Target would be, uh, we are Josran, Josran, jo Oh, someone is trying to kill us. Benedict Lyddon is still trying to kill us. Uh, we could ask him to end his plot. I mean, we could. We could also imprison everybody on the list, couldn't we? No, we have to ask them to stop backing it and then do that. Uh, we'll just ask him to end his plot to kill us. That seems fair. I think we may, that, that, that seems all right. Nobody has any idea where this dragon is. Okay, we'll keep searching. Your rival, your wisdom, mercy, are legendary. Your demand is just. My scheme was obviously misdirected. I hope you'll find it in you to forgive me. I think he became our rival once we once we uh, confronted him about the plot. I think that's kind of what happens. He has a lot of rivals. Oh my. Including my wife, which is probably why he was trying to kill us. Okay. Well, we'll see. Also, we got the same righteous imprisonment. Yep. Um... Kind of just waiting for a chance to use our conquest. We could try conquesting over here in White Harbor. He has 10,000 men, though. Hmm. Is looking for a catapult, basically. Looking for someone small. We conquest the, uh, the uh, Sunstone Isles. We could do invasions of them. Definitely. And then that would be enough for us to start getting more land. We could, we, we could take over the pirate lands. Hmm, we could also go down south and take over all that land. This is definitely, there are options. How many men do we have? 1.3? Oh, we must already have max in Harlaw, would be my guess. No, we're, we're still working in Harlaw? It just has, like, no reinforcement at all, even though we have trained troops there? Yeah, okay. This is really slow. Okay. That's fine. Uh... I'm King Josran. Uh, some among your subjects have been found pillaging my land. Uh, give me money. Of course we'll give you your money. Yes. Um, Shereel is no longer a spy master. She died a natural death, which is surprising for a spy master. We need a new one. Our wife will not do, unfortunately. Um, Galaza Moagazkus. We definitely do. We don't really like her, though. Um, Arwen? Ar we like Arwen Farwind. You you shall be our master whisperers, and you shall scheme in uh, Harlow Hill. Right. I think it's time to do some wars. I think we're going to go down south. I think we're going to take some of this land if we can. They don't appear to have that many men. They're not really that well defended. Now, oh, you have zero men. You do have some packs. You have some uh, non-aggression packs, but no alliances. Perfect. We'll take the Lotus Valley. Uh, last lament. We can't declare. Needs to have 250 piety. Um, and we need to, is either Lord tier or least loyalist faction has strength of 75. Wait, what? What's that mean? It's either Lord tier or the liege. Oh, it's because we're not a lord. We're a uh, republic, I think. So we can't actually declare these wars. Like, let me check against uh, Westeros. If we were to declare invasions of Westeros, we would not be able to do it for the same reason. Ah. Hmm. I guess we need to become a lord. Is there a way of, like, uh, I want to become a monarchy now? There was one in Laws, I think. Uh, monarchy. Uh, we have 2,000 prestige. Close. Rule for more than 15 years. Not close. Diplomacy 18. Not close. But we are almost a dragon rider. We just need to face the dragon once more. Zareel. We'll face him again. Uh... Um, Bethany died. She was married to Marius Celtigar. Okay. 
Reclusive beast, it seems. We have had some exce exceptional low tides in the lands around Harlow Hill this moon, which has led to some fisherfolk to discover an ancient sunken longship. Well, of course we're going to look. I mean, I know that we're slothful, but we have to look. It's so near the end of the series. This could be awesome. I have no idea what it is. We searched high and low within the wreck. Our party found us rotting timber and grim remains of some lost sailors. Oh, it's an Ironborn event, though. It was an actual chance for some good stuff to happen. Our men are starting to come back as well, which is nice. We might actually be able to declare war at some point. Not that we have any reasons to declare war, but we might be able to declare it. Um, face the dragon? I think we're going to face the dragon. There's a peasant's revolt for uh, Dorne. Uh, Lord Bass, uh, Bass? Lord Bass the second lover has died. Um, a natural death. Okay. Um, I'm starting to think, think Ray might fancy me. Mm, let's make a move. But there is no dragons here. I went to Ray's chamber and gave her a good tumble. It's good to be the Iron King. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It is good to be the Iron King. Um, maybe we should go go actually off raiding, but we just don't have any men. That's the problem. We can't even raid. Uh, my liege, I've collected tithe in Harlow Hill. The money shall reach you together this letter. Your humble Castilian, Lord Ian of Saltpans. Okay. Fantastic. Lord Forley of the Careless has usurped the Lordship of Tendering from Rolf Broom. So the Braxes have taken land from the Brooms. Okay. Let us keep going. A little bit of an autosave. A little bit more of an autosave. Um, Jostran Serpentail, I invite you to pay the iron price by joining me on a reaving far to the north of, in the Shivering Sea, where you can target Lothrathi and Ibani ships. I promise we'll gain many salt wives and plunder, much as in the ways of old. Um, yours, Balin of Haridan Hill. Um, you know, we'll go on one. That's fine. Lord Snefar is our regent, and I think that we need to face the dragon. Let's face the real. Winter is coming to an end. Uh, winter has come to an end, and we find the dragon. Oh. Let us... Oh. Uh, the travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that uh, Ored Kragan has escaped from the uh, dungeons of Jane Saltigar and is built a lair in Lagood Keep. Where is Lagood? Lagood Keep's like... Here, right? Um, where? How do we do that? Is it like comma? Not comma. Full stop. No. Question mark. Question mark. Of course. We're looking for lay good keep castle. I guess. I think we're going on a little bit of an adventure. Although we are way on a reaving, so we can't actually do our adventure. But when we get back from a reaving, we're going to lay good keep. Zareel will keep trying to uh, find uh, that dragon. Ray claims that she is starting to show signs of pregnancy after your last night of lovemaking, but she says she'll drink some moon tea to prevent any scandalous births. You would kill my unborn child, or at least the secret is safe. Um, we're deceitful, so probably at least the secret is safe. Definitely. The Iron Isles is in a state of war. We should send ravens to the Great Lord's rally and to Crown's defense. To the pitiful Iron King Jostran, tales and misdeeds are told from Ab to, from the arbor to Ashai. This is a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the battlefield. Has he declared a slave raid on us? Trade war over Lannisport. Oh. Sir Ian is no longer our seneschal. Oh, okay. He has died, I think. No? Oh, he has failed to answer my call to arms. That's even worse. Need a new Lord Steward. Um... Balin would do, but he's away as well. Um, I guess our Lord Steward shall be uh, Melwith. Melwith Athithcross. You can go oversee our provinces. And we shall uh, raise our men. Not really many options other than raise them. Now this is what, la what the war is over, so maybe if we defend that, that might be a good idea. We have so many random bits of land all over the place. Uh, we also don't need any men from over there. Let's get our boats up. And boats up. Get rid of the boats here. Let's get everybody on the boats. 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 As many as we can. There we go. 
Alt click. Get them all over here. We're still trying to find Zareel. Uh, winter has come to an end in Harlow Hill. Maybe that'll help us find him. Maybe he was hibernating. Uh, travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more and that Balan Valerian now rides Oric Dragon into battle. Odric Hagen? At Odric Hagen? I have no idea how you meant to pronounce that. We're going to keep trying to spy on the Skagos uh, lady. See if we can take her land. Get all of these boats together. And then I think we'll just sit on Lannispor, I think. There's not really anything else to do. We'll just prepare and face the dragon. Zareel, we'll face you again. Well, for the first time, maybe. No idea where he keeps his lair. No idea where he keeps his lair. Zareel is just missing. We'll face Zareel. Is there any, like, events we can do directly on him? Or we could just try and face him directly. Okay. Let's see how that works. Because we're not going to find him here. No idea where he keeps his lair. Okay. So we could face the dragon like this. Okay. Province must be one owned by us. Uh, he must... Either located in Harlow Hill or does not have... Or does not have a guardian. He does not have a guard. Okay. Um, he's not being pursued by another character. He's not being controlled by Daenerys Targaryen. Um, hmm, okay. Can we face the dragon even if we are over here? Like, if we move... We can't lead this army at all? Weird. Uh, also, nobody can lead this army? That's even weirder. Oh, it's because we're away. Okay. Uh, we'll put Lauren. Why did I put Lauren in charge? He's useless. He's a uh, craven. I forgot that. I just thought organizer and was instantly uh, in love. There we go. Uh, we'll put uh, the Gary in charge. We'll put. Uh, I don't know who else. A uh, Theo, maybe. Uh, we have a flanker. So I figured How about Dermond Roseby. And we're looking for non-craven people. Nope, no non-craven people here. They're all craven. I guess that means that... Uh... Oh, no, Time and Roseby as well. Can also uh, be in charge. And we'll have Siegfried, uh, Gary, and Dermond leading our armies. Okay. Face the dragon. Yes. Yes. We'll keep trying to face them. Balon of Harden of Harden Hill's decision to attack a merchant fleet was sound. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing the ships while taking some damage to our longships. But in the end, no one can resist our armborne rears and much cargo as well as many captives were taken. Ah, good. The Raven Party being roaming the coast by a local patrol headed by Luko uh, of East Ningai attacked. Of course, we um, easily butchered these people, but the lorry surely belongs to Gorman Maring. Who bested Luko in single combat, swinging the battle in our favour, he now expects to be rewarded. Good for him. Good for him. There's no dragons here. But is there? That's the question. We'll keep trying. I mean, it could just be a really low chance, which is why I keep just going through it. Oh, Barristan and Killick died. Comatose in bed. Unfortunately, the Killick line ends with him. It was a lunatic, incapable, slothful at the end. So, it's not going great for him. But, hopefully, his is a sign that we will find this dragon. Hopefully. Hopefully. No idea where he keeps his lair. But what if we found a dragon here? Gotta keep trying. Gotta be committed if you want this dragon. Small, small folk have no idea where he keeps his lair. Also, are we getting taken war score yet? Because, like, he hasn't taken any of our land. What, what was Astapor even doing? It's just sitting over there doing nothing. Okay. Well, I'm prepared for the war that's never gonna come. And I'm prepared to face this dragon, which is also similar. Um, any dragons here? Auto saving? Auto saving? Nope, no idea where the dragons are. You know, we'll, we'll stop searching for the dragons. Let's speed up the game a little bit, see if we can uh, get these guys to come over. Actually, it's looking very framey. We're not going to speed up the game quite that much. Don't think it can cope. Uh, Uron has arrived at our court. Random person. Okay. And I think that we're going to end the episode here uh, with a son that was born to us and Ray Pike named Vagan, who uh, died stillborn. Ah, okay. 
Well, wait for any events from that which may happen. There are no events. Uh, except for this person asking us to pay them, get the money to be paid back, which we'll of course do. And I will end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.